in my previous videos, I've been showing you how to uh, do video editing. Uh, we've been using video that uh, I found off the web. I didn't even use one video clip of myself. How humble of me. How shy I must be. Anyway, there's a lot of free content out there on the web that you can use to tie in with your projects. You can mix it with your, your interviews uh, or just make a video completely from your pictures and things you find on the web. So it's amazing what you can do tying in with the audio and, and, that, and whatnot. Anyway, I wanted to show you where you can find some free public domain content that's free for you to use that won't get you into legal jeopardy. All right? I'm going to have these links on the website as well. First one is the Wikimedia Commons. That's where I get a lot of my content from. And like when I did a search for, uh, you know, for Mars, I can do a search for Mars and hit return. And uh, you scroll down. And there you go. There's some different, there's that animation, the one that I found on, on the Mars. There's some other pictures. Some of these are videos. That's actually an animated GIF that I converted to a movie file. And you can do that with QuickTime Pro. Uh, convert it, a, a GIF into a a movie file. Um, other content that's down in here, here's some other video clips that are out there. Uh, pictures as well. You can type in uh, Apollo, if I can spell it, uh, Apollo Moon. Did I spell that right? Looks like I did because we got the right thing. And here's some clips that are in there. Now some of these are in the AUG format and I showed you that before if you download in my previous vi uh, video that I did on QuickTime. X, QuickTime 10, in how you can convert videos from the AUG format into um, uh, formats that iMovie would like, such as MOVs, MP4s, that sort of thing. So that's how you can find some free content. Lots of pictures in there that you can find. All this stuff is public domain, especially when it comes to space stuff. You'll see a lot of content for space because a lot of it's from NASA. So the government made it. It doesn't really own any royalties to the video for the guy stepping down, you know, off of the... Uh, off of the, uh, the, the eagle uh, before it landed on, before he stepped off the eagle onto the moon for the first time. Ah, can I think? I'll have a link to that on the website. Also, here's one, Bitbox. And there's all kinds, 35 stunning high-res public domain astronomy images. There's one, there's a, there's a great star one. Go down, there's one of Earth, again, public domain. And this is the resolution, 3000 by 375. This is just a smaller version. You click on that, wait a minute, because it's going to download. You're going to have a big version. But anyway, you can scroll through, see gobs of pictures. You're looking for a picture of the Earth. There's one with Earth and the Moon. There you go. There's some content for you. Don't feel like you got to go with, you know, some little small thumbnail you found somewhere else, and you're perfectly fine in, in using these photos. So you should be fine with that. A good way to search is basically is to just go to the Google search tool and just search for public domain video or images or maybe even put in something that you want like images of Mars and that might help you get what you want. The other one is um, Hubble site. If you're looking for space images again, since that was the theme, you can go to the Hubble site and find all kinds of images that Hubble has taken that you can use in your projects. Um, lots of stuff. Oh boy, let's pick one. Let's pick this right here. Find hyperactive galaxies in the early universe. There you go. Go image download page. And there you go. Small, medium, large with a title. Or extra large, 240 kilobytes. It's also a JPEG for print or PDF. Let's pick that JPEG and see. There you go. There's the image. And that's not even the full size. You can tell by the magnifying glass I get on there. If I click on it, there's the real size. So you can imagine how you can zoom or pan across like that Ken Burns effect over top of these images. Right there, it's free, doesn't cost you anything to download these. Um, the GIMP community, gimpsavvy.com, and in here there's gobs of uh, NOAA photos, fair use, copyright free images, gobs of stuff. Browse through there, find stuff. You can sometimes find free images elsewhere online, so feel free to look, always check the copyright. Some people offer stuff under Creative Commons. For instance, the Ask the Techies videos that I do, my video podcast, it's Creative Commons. So it's free to copy and redistribute. Uh, I don't like people making edits of them and doing new things with them. So I've unchecked that on the Creative Commons license. But if someone wanted to do something and take a sample of a video, if you called me, I'd probably say yes. It's not a big deal. I just want to make sure people aren't, you know, making money off of the clips that I'm doing because I want these to be out in the open for anybody to be able to view. Okay? Hopefully you found this helpful. Remember, 
Uh, video can be fun. Video is a powerful tool. Use it to your advantage. Have fun. Thank you.